Hello everyone, this is Karst, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. So, last episode we let Halzen go into the portal and bring out the little body of, uh, of, I don't know, like a spirit guardian of this place, of the, uh, shadow, of the shadow cursed lands. And now we have to look for his soul. Um, that said, we did meet a little kid at one point. I don't know where he's hiding, but... Halzen has, um, has, uh, extended his hand to me and, uh, implied that he would love to tag along in the rest of our journey in this area. And since he is apparently trying to cleanse this area of the corruption, I'm inclined to agree with him. That said, I'm not sure who I would replace. Because Carlock is incredible, she's my tank. Shadowheart is my support. And Gale is my mage. I mean, I guess I could drop Gale for Halzen. It'd be more of a physical party if I did that, I think, because I'm pretty sure the druid, all he does is, like, transform into owl bears and bears and various other animals, so those are all physical attacks. I don't really want to drop Karlok, though, just because of how strong she actually is. Hmm. Well, first things first, let's do our level ups. What have we got? Level 9 Monk. I know I've solo classed. I'm sorry, I don't know how multi-classing works. Uh... Ooh. Okay, cool, I can jump even further. I'm happy about that. And then I learned some new actions. I can make it resonate. Now, I don't know what that means, but I guess I'll find out. I'll take it. And Shadowheart has learned a bunch of new spells. Which seem very helpful. Um, Contagion, Dispel Evil and Good. Flame Strike, I want. That's a lot of damage. And it's an AoE, so that seems really nice. Oh, Greater Re uh, Restoration might be good too. Insect Plague. I don't know about that. And then there's Mass Cure Wounds, which will also be really good. Disguise seems kind of random. Okay. We'll prepare some spells. So I've only prepared Flame Strike at the moment. I have so much like random CC and stuff available that I've been using, but I don't actually like. I can get rid of this spell, the evocation evocation spell, because I don't necessarily need that. I might regret it, but. Anime Dead could be good, but I'm looking at, uh, well, Mass Cure Wounds definitely seems good, and then there was Greater Resto. Granted, I don't know how many level 5 spell slots she has, and I kind of wish I knew, I wish I could see it right now, um, but these level 5 skills seem really nice, like, I guess they cover different aspects. I never use whole person. Yeah, I literally never use some of the CC. I may as well just focus, continue focusing on the damage. I'll keep a greater resto available just in case though. Let's see how this goes. And Carlock, of course. Carlock the Dependable. Uh, Brutal Critical, very nice, sure, whatever. Some free HP is always good. And Gale the Squishy. You remain squishy. You've only got 6 HP out of that. Gain 2 spells. Cone of Cold, oh, that's a classic. I'm just gonna pick it because it's a classic. Cloud Kill seems pretty good. Although, Conjure Elemental might be helpful as well. Having an extra bonus monster on the field assisting us, I could see I could see that being helpful, yes. Cone of Cold is nice, though, for immediate AoE. Large Cloud... This is tempting. I think I'm going to go with Conjure Elemental and see how that goes. 
I think I did that for him and then didn't actually prepare any spells for it. Whoopsie daisy. Enlarge and reduce, we literally never use that. Mirror image, we almost never Oh, this this would this would definitely keep him alive. I guess I could be using that a little bit more. Uh witch bolt, we never use it. So let's slap in those level five spells I just tossed. Good enough. Can't give up now. And now I'm going to immediately replace him with Halzen. Let's see how this goes. I have a lot on my mind. What's on your mind? Actually, I should drop, uh, briefly drop Shadowheart, and then I'm gonna have to see what I can equip Halzen with, because I've never used him, I don't even know what he wears, or uses. <laughs> so, that's what people mean when they talk about but If you're sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Fine. I'll be here when- You stay there for now. I'll be back for you, don't you worry. Uh, yes, Halzen, join me. Faniel still suffers. There'll be no improvement until his essence is restored, I fear. Um, oh, once Faniel's essence is found, what then? In truth, I'm not sure. This is beyond all reckoning. It's still part of Thaniel deep down, but it may not recognize that. Or want to recognize that. Perhaps it can be reasoned with, but I'm not hopeful. Reason is not something that thrives amidst the Shadow Curse. Uh, come, I need you by my side out there. Good. Now our roots can deepen. Together. We'll just randomly approve of that, but sure, why not? So Halzen with his 10 HP, he's level 1 now. Lovely. Okay, so, what do you wear? You're a light armor person, okay. You have a quarter staff. Okay, so you also use staves. That's good to know. So, picking him. He does one to eight with that, but what if he picked up another one of these staves? It's not like he has a focus on staves either, right? No. But seriously, he's coming in with nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. So in hindsight, probably would have been better to uh, actually equip him with stuff. You just randomly have good berries, alright? I'm gonna have to pick random stuff to give him. Uh, I don't even know what spells he casts. What spells do you have, man? You've got Goodberry. You just con what the hell? You conjure berries. Cool. You're a healer. Shilla. Okay. Your staff or club. So he has to use staffs or clubs. He's got CCs and stuff. Okay, so he's actually a disruptor. Interesting. But the what about the whole transform ability? I know he can transform. Wild shape. You need a wild shape charge to do it, okay. Thunder wave and evocation healing word. Not call lightning, that actually seems to do damage as well. That does decent damage considering you're only level one. Mm, I applaud your taste. This is also the first time I've realized that people actually oh that everyone seems to have um, unique icons for inventory and equipment based on their class, I believe. That's the first time I've noticed that. Okay. Cool. Um, doesn't change the fact that you have no gear. Let me check the chest. What have I dropped in here? I don't even know if there are any goodies for you, truth be told. Because you seem to wear light armor, right? Yeah, you're a light armor user with another staff. So we're, we have a lot of people who share staves right now. Okay, so I've played around with his gear a little bit. I didn't really have much I could give him, unfortunately. So I'm really scraping at the bottom of the barrel here. Um, I could try to give him a helmet as well, but I really don't... 
I'm not too too concerned about that. Because it's really just like a saving throw every now and then, I guess. Um, that I would be able to give him, so. Yeah, I think I'm okay. So essentially, I've given him the hide armor, plus two. Um, just so he has a better armor class. I gave him the thermo arcanic gloves, because he's going to be doing fire damage constantly with both of these weapons. And it'll give him heat. Now, heat does do damage to me according to this, but then I get to use heat convergence. That said, I don't know what heat convergence is, so I will find out. Um, I've also given him a shield along with the gold wormling staff. Now, the wormling staff gives him fire damage and the ability to use a firebolt cantrip, which is nice. And then the shield... So one of his spells, I will also mention, is Shillalag. Um, which then envelops his weapon. Now, this shield actually gives him a bonus for using Shillalag. Because then you also do three piercing. That said, again, I don't know if this is going to interrupt any of his spell casting or not. But it seems to work and I can equip both at the same time. So I am all for it. And then of course there's a Hellfire Hand Crossbow. Um, which is just do more damage to burning people. And he gets Scorching Ray. So I'm down for it. Um, he just randomly has the Tendril Amulet. Just giving him some CC abilities. More CC abilities I mean. So he gets to cast Everard's Black Tentacles. Uh, I gave him the Ring of Mental Inhibition because of his Call Lightning thingy. Um, this is a concentration spell, but there's a save involved. So if someone fails the saving throw, they get debuffed. Fine. And of course, there's the Shapeshifter's Boon Ring because he is, in fact, a Shapeshifter. I could be wrong with what I've chosen, but that's all I have at the moment for him. I will endeavor to equip a helmet on him the next time I find one. Because I think I've basically thrown out all the other weapons I had. Or, sorry, all the other helmets I had, so. For now, he's going to be... His head's going to be a little breezy, but I'm sure he's more than okay with that. Um, oh, and I gave him the linebacker boots, just because I had, like, nothing else. Pretty much. Um, yeah, I don't think I have any helmets available, so that's just all I can go with. Now, he's only level 1, so I should probably go through his level up as well. Uh... Okay, subclass. It's a lot of subclasses. Circle of the Moon. Druid sworn to the moon draw on the mercurial nature to transform into massive creatures and primal elementals. Now that does sound really nice. Spores is Mushroom Mancer, I guess. Yeah, like mushroom stuff. And Circle of the Land. Connected powerful magic that flows through the earth and binds all living things together. So he becomes a Jedi. <laughs> he gets to use the Force. Wild shape, and he can become a badger, a spider, it's all CC stuff, the wolf, or a cat, just randomly a cat. Uh, but Circle of the Moon seems most interesting to me right now, because he also gets wild shape bear, which is a tank, so temporarily replacing Carlock will be doable. Now, this one is like AOECC. Yeah, AOECC magic user. I'm gonna stick with Circle of the Moon, I think. Now, what do I want to give him? Goodberry is very random. Uh, Fog Cloud, speak with animals. He should be able to by default since he's a druid, right? In theory. Thunder Wave. Create or destroy water? Huh. I think I'm going to leave him with what he has right now. Yeah, like what he has now doesn't seem terrible. Okay. That's a lot of spells you're learning, sir. So, you picked out Resto, which is also good. Heat Metal. Cause a metal weapon or armor to glow red hot and force a wearer to let go or receive disadvantage. Okay, cool. And it does damage as well. Uh, spike growth. Bark skin. Ooh. That's some nice uh, utility there. Moonbeam is actually really nice. Yeah, I'll take Moonbeam. I think I replaced the healing spell with it though. 
I can drop that for Moonbeam. Also cool. There's a lot of stuff here that seem good, truth be told. Now, good berry, regaining 1 to 4 hit points is kind of jank. So... Part of me really wants to have the bark skin available. But I almost never pre-buff. Like, in this, I never pre-buff. But it's until long rest. This literally just lasts forever. Okay, equip it. You're gonna be my... You can make you can make my people stronger, okay. You are replacing the mage, so still giving him a little bit of utility seems good. Let's go with that for now. You can now wild shape into a deep wrath. Or a dire raven, okay. So, what cantrip can you use? You can also gain Guidance, Poison Spray, Resistance. Uh, guidance is already taken up by Shadowheart, well, who will never leave my inventory, uh, my party, so we're fine. I mean, I could give him Resistance, but... I think it's better just to give him a damage, a damage one, I think. You learned a couple more spells. But I'm pretty happy with what we have right now. Now, a feat. What should I give you now? Uh, huh. I mean, he's already got medium armor and can use a shield, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, it's fine. Heavily armored, lightly armored, mage slayer, martial adept. Medium armor master seems good. Now, mobile. Mobile always seems good. I could make him a sentinel. Honestly, I'm gonna make him a sentinel. Do it. If he can become a new tank and uh, stop people from attacking my teammates, I could pair him up with uh, with Gale. I might actually drop Carlock. I'm gonna drop, well, like not permanently, but I'm gonna drop Carlock for Halzen and see how that goes. Wild Strike. Uh, what have I learned? Daylight. That seems cool, but no. Sleet Storm. Call Lightning seems very good. Yeah, let's go with that. Keep going. Class feature, level 3 spell slot. Primal Strike. Sure. And then now you can become a panther or an owl bear. Yep. He's not quite as tanky as I was hoping, though. Um. Grasping vine. Drag creatures towards itself. Yeah, but ice storm. Polymorph, wall of fire. Conjure a woodland being. Mm -mm. Why not? I'm gonna take that. I, I can try a summon. I can see how summons work. Uh, saber tooth tiger. And I will drop. What spell do I want to drop? There's a lot here that I don't necessarily need. For example, that. I don't really need that. 
light seems good at all times. Wall of fire is okay. I can give him some CC, see how that goes. Give him some good old-fashioned confusion. Um, and then what should I give him for a level 4 ability? Let's try a wall of fire. And then what? I could just make him mobile. Or I can make him a, a, an armor master. But the problem is, if he's in wild shape, does it count as him still wearing armor or not? I suppose that is a question I have to ask. He doesn't have much of a strength modifier, so... Warcaster? Sure. No, that seems like a waste, potentially. Dueler, Dungeon Dueler. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna roll with Warcaster. Because he gains advantage on saving throws. Okay. Uh, Great Arresto. So he's gaining some similar spells to what uh, to what Shadow Heart actually had. Hmm. So Great Arresto, Conjure Elemental, Mask Your Wounds. Those all seem really nice to me. Now I already put Conjure Elemental on someone. I can't remember who, unfortunately, already. I guess I could drop Ice Knife, because I don't really use it anymore. Do you really need level 1 spells at this point? Let's go with that and hope for the best. Okay, so... Looking hmm. ahead. I'm kind of like, who do I actually drop then? I still want to drop Gale. Let me put my magic. Yeah, I do still want to drop Gale temporarily. Let's go, Ken. But Carlock is just Carlock is just so good. Okay, bye, Gale, for now. Hmm, a savvy move recruiting Else into our cause. While I'm adept at most forms of weave manipulation, druidic magic is not my area of expertise. He will make for a most useful option to have in reserve. Uh, okay, so that's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting that they're now talking What's like, Oh, Housen's not? joined your party for the first time. I, question the wisdom I have to decision, assume... I'll be here. I have to assume then that he was not available until this point in the game. Huh. Oakfather preserve you. Oh, okay. There's quite a lot to talk to you about now. Now that you've actually opened yourself up to me and joined the party. I see. Okay. Um... Okay, well, let's start. Just, let's just start from the beginning. You said Daniel is missing a part of himself. Any ideas how we can find it? No matter how it's been twisted by the shadows, it is still part of Daniel's essence. It will resemble him somehow, and may show signs of his power. Look for signs of life in the darkness, wildflowers where everything else. The curse cannot subdue the power Daniel bears. Not entirely. In yeah, fact, if I recall, he's like the spirit guardian of this place, right? Before, not long after we first came within reach of the Shadow Curse. Fool that I am, I did not grasp their significance at the time. There is a ruin some way outside of Last Light. I caught a glimpse of fresh blooms there, but did not investigate further. I shall mark it upon your map. Okay, we'll prioritize that. Although it might be the same place that I already like went to before where we found the spirit of the kid, so... Hmm... Well, maybe going back there with Halzen will actually yield some new information. Uh, I met a peer of yours, a druid Jahera. Do you know her? Only by reputation. 
I should bring you to take her, uh, talk to her. when we marched against Ketherick Thorm, but on the far end of the battle lines from where I fought. And in the chaos that ensued, well, our forces were scattered. I led some to safety, but never learned of her fate. I'm glad to hear she survived. Though in truth, I should not be surprised. She was always said to be formidable and cunning. I could have learned much from her, no doubt. Uh, you're an archdruid. What could you possibly have left to learn from anyone? No matter how long I live, I will always strive to remain a keen pupil. That's a good way to Only look at it, yes. would think he could drink in all knowledge until none is left. Yep. There is always more. Nature's tapestry is infinitely complex. I cannot help but wonder how she would have handled some of the challenges I faced as Archdruid. Defended the Grove. Korga. The Shadow Druids. At least now we can benefit from her presence. And perhaps work to a common goal. That sounds good to me. Um, you spent all these years fighting the Shadow Curse. What happens once it's lifted? Honestly, I never thought I'd make it that far. But the Absolute is a threat to all, and I promised I'd help you with your parasite. So, I'll remain with you. If you'll have me, that is. Of course, I only wish you'd join me earlier. So do I. But one duty at a time. Uh, how am I holding up in your estimations? Given the circumstances, you're faring as well as can be expected, I suppose. We don't know each other well enough yet, yeah. I feel like I haven't gotten to know you properly yet. It's true, and I can't imagine I helped with that. Sometimes I let the task at hand consume me, and people think I'm obsessed. Trust me, the day I no longer have to talk about the Shadow Curse will be a happy one. What would you like to know? Uh, yeah, don't take this the wrong way, but you're quite large for an elf. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. I am? Yes. <laughs> Trust me, it's been said. You show more restraint than most in avoiding the subject until now. Uh, so, uh, any idea how that came about? Did you drink from the, uh, magical water like, uh, Mary and Pippin? Who's to say? <laughs> perhaps there's a half-orc buried somewhere in my ancestry. No, that's possible, yeah. Or perhaps not. Sometimes I think conventional wisdom is too narrow about what someone can or cannot be. Fair enough, yeah. Also Stranger true. things have most certainly happened. Fair enough. I guess we can't stereotype. How did you come to be a druid? Hmm. I had a friend when I was young, long ago. He played with me in the forests where I grew up. You're talking about Thaniel. Got but it. Eventually, I realized no one else had heard of him. It was Thaniel, of course. Yep. Nature was my very first friend. I get older, but he hasn't changed a day. And now and we have to rescue him. I had to be more than a companion to him. I had to be a protector. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Did you, do you have people out there somehow? Oh, sorry. Do you have people out there somewhere? Family, friends, a lover, perhaps. <laughs> You're not a doppelganger, are you? Trying to study me to learn all my secrets so you can take my place? <laughs> Not that I'm me. aware of. My line perished a long time ago. They rest in High Forest now, near the shade of the Grandfather Tree. The Grove became my family, with Sylvanus as my teacher. And now I have you. I'm sorry for your loss. It was a long time ago. The wounds don't heal, but they become more bearable. Understood. Uh, do I really need to ask about this part? Oh, you didn't answer the part about lovers! I'm 350 years old. Of course there have been lovers. Just because I love nature doesn't mean I'm betrothed to it. Though, sometimes, nature needs reminding. Hold on. Nature needs reminding of what, exactly? Well, uh... <laughs> I didn't pick this scar up in battle. I was in wild shape. Only I forgot it was the season when bears are... particularly social. Fair. A she-bear claimed me as her own and... did not appreciate being spurned. Oh, I see. 
Uh, ah, don't leave me hanging. Is there someone in your life right now? Right now? I bed down alone, I'm afraid. <laughs> Perhaps once I talk less of curses and parasites, my fortunes will improve. Perhaps so. I'm not about to offer. Tell me about... What the hell? Tell me something about yourself that I wouldn't even think to ask. Hmm. Um... I suppose you wouldn't be shocked to learn I love animals and nature? No, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I, I know, I know. Well-trodden territory. Uh, well then, let's see. Um, I whittle in my spare time, and I've something of a sweet tooth. Although everyone's very amused when I say I like honey. It's because you're a bear, understood. Whittling, what do you make? Ornaments, utensils, and ducks. I like ducks. I like turtles. So you turn into a bear and you like honey? That's a little on the nose. I like what I like. Once you get to my age, you realize there's little point in denying yourself, so long as others aren't affected. Fair, fair. Thank you for sharing. Thank me by returning the favor, why don't you? <laughs> Come on. I'm sure you've something better than carving wooden ducks. Well, I am the Dark Erd, so I've murdered a ton of people, so there's that. Uh, nothing half as charming as that. It's all crimson and rot. Oh, well. Huh. Your choice, of course. Whoopsie daisy. That's enough Anytime. for now. So what happened before when the Shadow Curse was unleashed? Druids and Harpers joined together to put a stop to Ketherick Thorm. We marched on Moonrise and after much fighting, we prevailed. Even in defeat, though. Ketherick turned to Shah. Not long after we sealed him away in his tomb, the Shadow Curse took hold. No one had seen the likes of it before. No one knew how to react. Then it started to claim all those within its reach. Those who had survived the battles now fell to the Shadows, became part of the Shadows. And worst of all, I lost contact with Thaniel. Though, so is it... I wanted to try and find him, but we couldn't stay. We would have all succumbed. When the Archdruid of the Grove, my predecessor, was seized by the curse, I had to lead the survivors to safety. That was my first day as Archdruid. An inauspicious beginning. Fascinating. So he's been there since the beginning, as we kind of knew. Uh, what I was gonna say is, I wasn't sure if the audio just suddenly got like a lot quieter, or if I accidentally hit something on my headset. Anyway, inauspicious. It sounds like you did what you had to and saved lives. You are right, but I must not lose focus until everything has been put right. I've wasted too much time already. Years in which nature has suffered. Alright, let's see what um, the other companions have to say about picking up uh, Mr. Halsin over here. Ah, Halsin is such a delight. Woe to the cultist who tangles with that thick hunk of an elf. Okay, what'd you just call him? <laughs> Alright then, I see you're interested. Um, Shadowheart, come rejoin me please. It's about time Halson actually stepped up and joined us properly. I agree. He's certainly been taking up space at camp for long enough. That is very fair. I can't even fault you for that opinion. Join me. Alright. Some company wouldn't hurt on the road. Especially if there's trouble. Alright, let's go. And what do you think about this, Lazelle? Halson's proved himself a fine ally already. He'll be useful in battle, if those tree trunk arms are an indication. You know what? She's wearing a helmet that I want. I wish I could just go through, like, absolutely everyone and just take their stuff instead of needing to... Oh, let me drop this person, go and grab this person, and then, oh, let me drop this person, go grab that person again. So now I have to do this in order to pull the helmet yeah. off her. I've been catching myself smiling, if yep. you're sure. Yep, yep, Fine. I'm sure. Okay, Lazel, join me and then give me your helmet. Greeting. Hello. It is done. 
I just want your helmet. That's literally all I need. Oh, it's heavy armor. Never mind. You can keep that helmet. Great. Goodbye. Chuck. Yes. You, as you say. Come with. You know, I fall right. And Astarian, you exist. Yes. I think I'll enjoy traveling with Halson. Not for his wit or wisdom. He'll just make an excellent shield if we're attacked. Fair enough. All right. Bye. Oh yeah. Uh, what do you intend to do about Casador's ritual? Before anything else, I need to know where it's happening. Uh, to the public, Casador is an ordinary noble. A little reclusive, perhaps, but just another of the great and the good of Baldur's Gate. He has a grand palace on the hills of the gate, where he hosts the city's high society. Okay. I don't know if he performed the ritual there. It feels too public. He'd risk exposure. I guess we're going to have to infiltrate that party at some point. That sounds like fun. Uh, we should attend. We should ask around once in the city. Maybe someone's heard something. I hope so, because I am not striking another deal with Raphael. Who knows what he demand this time. But Indeed. if the citizens of Baldur's Gate don't know anything, my brothers and sisters might. Casador is a master of secrets, but the other spawn must have seen something. But do they have enough free will to actually divulge information? Hmm. Yes. I want to ask about Casador's ritual. You must be thinking about it. The thing that will decide my fate forevermore. Yes, it's been on my mind. Why? I'm just curious. I'm nosy. I just want to know what your intentions are. Uh, all that power, you must be tempted to take it for yourself. Well, of course I've thought about it. If I completed the ritual instead of Casador, I'd get all that power. And I could walk in the sun without fear I'd turn into a mind flare. I don't think you should do it. Oh, naturally, who wouldn't be tempted? No, I don't think... And the souls that need to be sacrificed? I don't relish it. But my siblings lured thousands of people to their deaths over the years. I doubt Baldur's Gate would miss them. Mm. Of course, I don't even know if I could complete the ritual. It may be impossible, but it certainly is tempting. All right, bye. Uh, and what's her name? Arabella, how are you feeling? Actually, no, I've already talked to you. You're going to separate once we actually move further. Uh, anyone else? Carlock, what do you have to say about Halzen? Halzen is one hench elf. I'm impressed. And glad he's on our side. You know, you're about the same size as each other. <laughs> you did say you wanted, you know, to touch people again. Anyway, let's go back out. Alrighty then. So, um... Where do you want us to go? House in Deep Shadow. Seek the Annual Shadow. Yep. We'll just go to the Shadow Field. The Shadowed Battlefield. Now, it is quiet. Quiet and dead. Oh yeah, this is definitely the same place. Thanks, Shadow Heart. Well enough as it is. I think we're gonna have a grand old time with these people in my inventory. Inventory in my party. Okay, so. Wish I had a bag of holding. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think that's in the game for a reason. Uh, Halzen, we're back. What did you want me to do here? I'll take the toy. I have Dad's axe. So. I mean, there's some flowers growing here. Is that what you were talking about, bud? Oak Father preserve you. Yeah. Um. What am I searching for? Seek Thaniel's shadow. I did find the shadow, but now he's hiding. But where did he hide? Like, where did he run to? Is the question. I found his shadow before. 
Or am I out of sequence now? This isn't looking any different than when I was here last. He's not hiding in one of these baskets, is he? That'd be pretty insane if he was. No. There you are. Oh. You weren't supposed to find me. You weren't supposed to win. I'm a winner. Let's play again. Good idea. You're smarter than some playmates I've had. They always tried to leave before I was done with them. Try to find me again. But my family will be looking for you at the same time. So don't get caught. Uh, why is Halsen disapproving? You know, Mummy and Daddy, the strongest Daddy ever, the best Mummy ever. I'm absolutely gonna get caught. What the hell? Absolutely going to get caught. Everyone in. I don't know how Halsen is gonna sneak, but. Keep going. Whatever comes, I'm ready. I see a way. Do you? Alrighty. Well, I, I, I guess we'll just end our turns. Oh, I see him. I see him. Hey, kid. I don't need to pickpocket you. Hi. Does this count as being caught? Does this count as me finding you? Everyone inside. Secrecy above all. Wretched thing. Pull yourself together. I can't afford to fail. Am I just watching you? Uh, Shadowheart, you gotta move. Crap. I wasn't sneaking. Well, that's fine. Some extra... Softer than a whisper. I'm heating up. Okay, we're all sneaking. Well, so much for peace. On my way. Are we still in combat when I'm in... Oh, and then all the dogs come in. Okay. My fault. I should have paid attention. I kind of want to load that. I don't know if fighting this... Huh. That's fine. I'm kind of curious to know if this is going to negatively influence... Uh, the situation with Oliver. Hmm. His lecture, that's fine. Don't know where the dog is, but doesn't matter. You picked the wrong fight, friend. I don't know how I'm successfully hiding, but sure. Hiya! I'll take it. Come on, Karlak. Show him who you are. Seriously? Okay. You might as well get mad. Next. Doggy. Nope. Sentinel. Beat that thing. And I took damage. Okay. Because of heat convergence. Oh, cool. Why not? Okay, seriously? Shalog! Uh, you can literally just smack it. But that's fine. Just, uh, Sacred Flame it. Good enough? Ow. Nice, well done. Well done. 
I'll take the free damage. Good. Keep going. Almost done, almost clear. Haha! -ha. And since we're here. Look at all these extra things he could do. Uh hiya! Okay. You might as well just keep doing this. Nice. Bye. Death won't take me yet. Okay, what do you have to say about that, Oliver? I win. I always win in the end. You did better than most, though, so I'll let you go. Here, second prize. You'll need it. Oh. We managed to beat Oliver at his own game. He gave us a prize for finding him. Well, thank you. Can we talk I now? I won fair and square. There's no point in playing again. I want a challenge. Though shrouded in shadows, the child's resemblance to Daniel is unmistakable. This must be his dark half, warped by the curse. Go on, find someone else to play with. Uh, I know who you really are and where you really belong. You need to reunite with Daniel. Spoil sport. I'm not going back. I like it here. I've made a family for myself. I get to play all the time. <laughs> Lunge at him. Like it or not, you don't belong here. Yes, I do. You can't make me do anything. <laughs> I don't want to play with you anymore. Oh, and then that he just bastard. walks away. Uh, into the shadow portal, huh? All right, there we go. Off we go. Thinking with portals. Uh oh. Night dome. Cursed vengeance. Okay, this is a boss fight I was not anticipating. Oliver's night dome won't allow you for you. No, won't allow for you to hurt him. Any damage done to the dome will be reflected in twofold to its attacker. Oh, good. Uh, let's go beat the hell out of their, out of mommy over here. Get mad. Get mad and rush right in. Boom. Come on. No tricks but to keep going. Now, what exactly is this? Detonate the key of a creature resonating with you, hitting the creature and anyone within five meters of it. So I need to make them resonate before any of that happens. Huh, okay. Blood follows me everywhere. Very good, very good. Okay. Could have been worse, but could have been better. Hurl four rays of fire. That seems unnecessary. I don't want to hit the kid. I feel like hitting the kid is a bad idea. Let's finish this. Just a hunch. Probably. Oh. They do quite a bit of damage. They explode. Well, that's news to me. That almost killed me. Okay, well, I'm in danger. Oh, and then there are Shadow Curse Harpers and stuff. Okay, wonderful. I'm in danger! Uh... That's fine. I mean, who do I have to blame for that? Hmm? Other than you. I'm in danger. I'm still in danger. It's not stellar. Time for some bloody work. Okay. Blast resonation punch. 
I see. So this lets me build up. Okay, that's cool. Let's do... I have two ways to cast Call Lightning, I think. Yeah. I've got so much to cast over here. There's so much he can do. Uh, let's just use the cantrip. If they've only got one HP, it's not a huge deal. Okay. Get her. And that's doing damage to the barrier, which is nice. I could cast this. Um, bonus action. Level 3 slot, though. I might as well. Nice. Ow. As long as they don't explode on me. Them exploding was the worst part. A little concerned about what that would be. Fluffy memory. What the hell is this? Oh, good. Um, you know, I guess I could do a throw. I could throw down an AOE thing. Can I throw an AOE item? Is there a thing? Like, if I throw this, this will hit me too, right? But that does work. That worked very well, all things considered. The hammer's gonna fall. You're not using a hammer right now, but that's fine. Time to push my luck again. Okay. I can't reach that thing, but I can reach him. I'm still in danger let's doing this, this. but let's do it. Uh, key resonation punch, resonating key, and then I can detonate it. Okay. It didn't seem to do that much damage, though, huh? Let me run away. Okay. That seemed decent, all things considered. Uh... Go away! Alright, this is going well. I'm gonna say that and then immediately fail. Yep, okay. Okay, this owlbear, how much is it gonna do? Uh, ah, nothing. Nice, well done. That went well. And they can't reach me. That's fine. Less fine. Sure wish I had a uh, cleave available. Keep going. Uh, I'm doing this because you won't come with me. I choose to blame you. And I'm gonna walk all the way over here. Uh, just go and smack the kid. Good. And you may as well just throw a fireball. 50-50. Okay. That's fine. Nice work, Halsen. Okay, we're almost clear. Keep going. Down the hatch. Why couldn't you just leave me alone? Why can't I just stay here, playing? I had everything I've ever wanted, right here! And you've ruined it! I'm not leaving. You can't make me. Be gentle. He's much more than a child. But he doesn't truly know that. Um...
Talk to him, Halzen. You know what needs to be said better than anyone. It shall be done. Oliver, nobody is making you leave. This is your home. But it is dark, empty, lonely. I don't want you to be alone. I want you to be with Thaniel. Why should I go back to him? Shadowed He's spirit of the me. land. Very nice. No. You were stolen from each other. Neither of you are to blame. And I know your pain. I truly do. Thaniel was my friend also. I played with him. Grew up while he stayed the same. He made me who I am today. And then he was ripped away from me. Same as for you. But you need not be alone any longer. You need not invent friends. Daniel is back. He is waiting for you. Fine. Very good work, Halzen. I'll do it. Good work. It might be nice to be with him again. Bye. Uh, bye. And thank you for playing with me. You're welcome. Uh, okay, it's so... done, at last. Soon the land will be unshrouded. We should return to Thaniel when we can. Yeah, let's go now. Now, the was there anything to loot around here? It doesn't really look like it. Where did we teleport to? He pointed us to the middle of the town. Okay, well that's interesting. Uh, you're still on fire, buddy. Most refreshing. Alright, so time for us to return to Last Light. Um, where is Daniel? Is he going to be at the House of Deep Shadows? Where the hell is Daniel then? You pulled him out of the portal. Took some convincing, but Oliver attempt, uh, agreed to reunite with Daniel. We should check in with Halsen next time we're at camp and see if Daniel's doing any better. I see. Alright, let's just do that now then. So, uh, how's Daniel doing, bud? Oh. Where are you, Halsen? There you are. Okay. Is that Daniel? Oh yeah, it's Daniel. Okay. You look a little better. A little less worse for wear. How are you doing, kid? The druid Halsen spoke to me while I was sleeping. He spoke of you. Said that you fought shadow and spite to restore me. I did. A hundred years of sickness almost ended. I feel every root that riddles the earth beginning to unfold. But there is one anchor still holding the shadows in place. Petherick, got it. The soul that brought it into being. For the land to heal. Ketherick Thor must die. Understood. Your will, it will be done. Ketherick's soul oh. still nourishes the shadows. Destroy him. So the land may heal. So that I may heal. As you say. Uh, Halson, what do you have to say about this? Oakfather preserve you. Absolutely nothing. Okay. How am I holding up? She spent all these years. Honestly. So I'll remain with you. Uh, if of you course, of me, course. So do I. But one duty. I've been unfair okay. to you. I've had unrealistic expectations of your character ever since I joined you. But honestly, you've surpassed even those. Seemed my faith was more than well founded. Well, that's good. I haven't gotten to know you what yet. What would you like to know? Nothing. Anytime. <laughs> yeah, I know. I would also say anytime to someone who didn't want anything from me whatsoever. Um, okay. Cool. So, in that case... Hidden treasure? Well, this is all Moonrise, right? Yeah. So, I could return to Moonrise, or I could go and try to find the relic. Oh, actually, I do want to go back to the mausoleum and take out the, um, the necromancer. I do want to take him out. So let's, uh, consider doing that real quick. There's the last light. Uh, where is... Oh, no, it's not the mausoleum. 
Yeah, it is the mausoleum. How did I get down there? It was underneath, right? Sorry, I, I'm a little turned around. In here, in here. Okay. Let's get in there and uh, take out this guy. Hmm. You should probably put on a different necklace. Yep. Still breathing. Let's go. Everything. Cause she's already casted her free heals, so. These boots have seen everything. All right, back in the catacombs. Have to find the lovely, lovely. Actually, isn't there a waypoint down there? Yeah, there has to be a voice of destruction arose from within these holes. Yeah, I was gonna say there's definitely the urge. I think he's chilling over there. Words for a test without considering their meaning. I've considered them plenty. Besides, Lady Shaw favors action over words. Try it out sometime. Those who do not listen to the reason of Lady Sharwarp's words must instead feel the keenness of her blade, and then she, he says that she sounds like a student. Okay, so, uh, I was right, there is a quick travel point to get back in here. I need to... head over here to find our lovely buddy, Balthazar. I have to hope that he's actually in here, because I do want to take him out. And I killed Flesh! Yeah, I did kill Flesh, so he is no longer any threat to me. Like Hello, Balthazar. Not lost your nerve, I hope. I tend to remove those from my creations. Too much fuss. I just decided to kill you instead. I, uh, let's do a sneak attack on him. Let's not, you know, alert him to the fact that I'm about to attack him. Stop that, he says. Got something to hide. Yes, actually, I do. Seems your actions have earned you an enemy and a fight. That's fine. That's what I'm doing. He starts at 85 health. Ow, that did a lot. Ow, that did a lot. Okay. I suppose I deserve that for doing a sneak attack, but here we are. Yeah, run away. Run away! And never return. Okay. Uh, I can smack this guy. Nice. I nearly failed because of a critical miss, but that's okay. Um. I could slap down an AoE heal, but that might not be necessary. That's good enough. Yeah, that is good enough. Just give... Do that. That's really not going to give me too much health. Um, I can drink a pot. With haste. I'll end my turn here. I'm noticing Halzen has not moved yet. And also, Halzen is apparently very good at dodging. Do these things even have opportunity attacks? Hmm. No, I'm disadvantaged. Okay, uh, let's do one of these. Let's conjure an elemental and see how that goes. Why not a fire elemental? Very cool. And then I can use my bonus action to heal myself as well. I'll take it. And you can do multi-attacks. Ooh. And AoEs. This is going to be very, very helpful. Moving forward. Yeah, this is good. Uh, go and smack this guy, yeah. Okay, could have been better, but could have been worse. Ow. 
That's fine. Ow. Ow, okay. He's warped himself behind the bed. Ow. Kill him! Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. He probably has a phylactery somewhere. Yeah, I didn't think about that, did I? Uh... Okay, we're a little bit in danger, but that's okay. Wait, what's mass queer wounds? Heals you and nearby en allies, yeah. Wait, I could do it to multiple people? Oh. Huh. Fascinating. Okay. No target. That's good enough. Okay, that healed for a fair amount. I think I wasted it a little bit, but I don't fully know how that works yet. I wonder if this is worth the cost. But that's fine. So, first things first, I can't actually kill it. Kill him because that thing's in the way, which is annoying as hell. Shouldn't have made me your enemy. <laughs> You literally no one has hit Halzen yet. Halzen is actually incredible. Uh okay. These guys are all extremely well equipped. Or rather, they're quite bulky. Haha, -ha, I hit you once. Kill it. It's still alive! Ow. Okay. You shall live to regret this. Kill it! Perhaps Kill him! Not okay. You should get mad. And also move slightly out of the way. Or not. Sentinel! Nice. Uh, 9% chance to hit, that always seems good. Just smack it. Divine Strike Poison. Oh, I don't know where that's coming from, but sure. He's immune because he's undead, but alright. May I please shoot the man? Please, allow me to do it again. Seriously? Nope. Nice. Free damage, I love it. Um. Let's do this. Who's moving next? The ghoul medic and then Balthazar's moving again. Let's just do this. It's gonna hit him. Good. Bleeding the corpse dry. Uh... Where is it? Kill the necromancer. Yep, I, I'm doing that. Nice. I'll loot him afterwards. To... Okay, one more. Nice. Count on me. Next. Good. Can't even catch my breath. Cutting to the chase. I mean, this was not that bad at all. But he does have a point. He's probably not dead forever. 
But now he'll know that we're against him, so that's not great. Nice crit. Can't reach? Fine. Very good. Those for whom the bell tolled. Uh... Outlanders. Okay, cool. Kill all of Balthazar's undead. Well, good work for us. And then we can loot him. Let's loot him. Let's see. That's fine, I can take that. Anything. What do you have on you, Balthazar? You died in a slightly awkward position, but that's okay. Circlet of Bones. Undead Ward. Allied undead within 6 meters are resistant to bludgeoning, slashing, and piercing damage. Well, I'm not a necromancer, so I don't care. Who's my newest charisma? Who, who's my newest merchant? Charisma of 12... 8, 10, 10. Okay, so it's going to Halzen. Halzen, you're my new... Um, my my new uh, mule, basically. Soul cage research. Rambling notes in the spidery, jagged hand fill the volume. They speak of a soul cage binding the life force of one to that of another. Oh, so that's how he's going to survive. A crude drawing shows two figures side by side. The one on the left appears to have a dagger protruding from its chest, while the one on the right has a corresponding wound in its own chest. I kind of wonder who he was linked to, and whether or not I will regret having attacked him so early. I guess we'll find out. Um, uh, that's fine. It's just random loot. Random loot. Another broken moon lantern. And a dead pixie. That sucks. I don't particularly want to pick it up, though. There's apparently a gilded chest back here. Was that just me? You saw that, right? It was a heavy chest, but apparently there's a gilded chest back there somewhere. So what that implies to me is that there's a secret way in. Because this area is completely dark. Probably safe to say if I light that. Oh, well, there's a silver glass in there. No? Alright. Oh, I could probably... No. Hmm. I was going to say, I could probably jump in, but no, I don't think so. I like that the elemental is just going to follow us around from now on. That's pretty nice. It's like having a fifth party member. I'm open to it. It, does, it even does decent damage. Why have I not been summoning things? Oh, maybe I saw that. Yeah, why have I not been summoning things this entire time? What's wrong with me? Okay. I'll take that. And this. Lovely. Okay. So, I'm actually going to call it... I'm actually going to call it right here. I hope that you enjoyed what you saw here today and that you're doing well wherever you are. This has been Karst with... Baldur's Gate 3. And uh, next time we will possibly lift the curse. Or actually we can we now have two options for Act 2. We can either go back to Moonrise Towers or finish this area off. Um, I think I'm going to have to fight Kethric. Basically. Let, let's go talk to him first. Because I'm going to have to complete both at some point anyway. Let's go talk to him first at Moonrise and then we'll, we'll, we'll see where we go from there. So I hope you're looking forward to it. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you then. Bye-bye.